CBC class 9 math extra practice question this is from the chapter polynomials in this question we are going to be factorizing a given polynomial expression solving this question entails two steps the first step we are going to compare it with a standard algebraic identity right we will check out which of the identities that you have learned something like a plus b the whole square a minus b the whole cube a square minus b square a plus b plus c the whole square which one does it actually compare with once you have established that it compares with one of these, the expansions of one of these algebraic identities, saying that this is the equivalent of that algebraic identity is the factorization step. So two steps, comparing it with an algebraic identity, the expansion of it. And then the second step, factorizing, is nothing but saying that this, is, this can be written as that algebraic identity's non-expanded form. That's the answer to this question. So let's get started. The given expression to us is 27x cubed minus 63x squared plus 49x minus 343 divided by 27. Look for hints. This is a 27x cube. So obviously at some level, we are likely to be looking at either an a plus b the whole cube or we will be looking at an a minus b the whole cube. We see a mix of positive and negative terms. If it's a plus b the whole cube, all terms are going to be positive. So it's not going to be a plus b the whole cube. Let's go around and check out whether it makes sense with a minus b the whole cube. So what's the starting point? Find the expansion of this identity, a minus b the whole cube. a minus b the whole cube is equal to a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. First glance, it looks like it compares with it. Positive, negative, positive, negative terms. Let's check out what could be our a, what could be our b. And then we'll validate it, checking out whether this entire expression is the same as rewriting it in those terms. Again, let's look for a hint. a cube is likely to be 27x cube because this is a cube term. So a cube is equal to 27x cube. 27x cube is a 3x the whole cube, which means it's easy to deduce that a is equal to 3x. So one part done. This term contains an x square, which means that 3a square b will contain that x. If a is equal to 3x, there's going to be an x square term here. There's going to be an x term here. This is likely to be our b cube term. So b cube is equal to 343 divided by 27. Is 343 the cube of something? Yes, it's a cube of 7. So 343 is nothing but 7 cube. 27 we all know is a cube of 3. So b cube equals 7 cube divided by 3 cube, which means that we can deduce b is equal to a 7 by 3. So a is 3x, b is 7 by 3. So if it is a minus b the whole cube, then this expression, this entire expression, can be factorized as 3x minus 7 by 3, the whole cube. But let's not jump into it and saying that this is the answer. Because what we have done is basically we compared the first and the last term and we have written this expression. We do not know whether these two terms will end up being these two terms. So let's validate it. We can do it two ways. Start from this and expand it and check out whether it's the same. Or start from here and come back to this. We'll do both methods. In this slide, let's start from here. We are assuming this to be the answer. Let's check out whether it maps with this. The second one, we'll rewrite it in terms of this 3x and 7 by 3 and then get to this. We'll do that in the printed version in the next slide. 3x minus 7 by 3 the whole cube. This is equal to 3x the whole cube. a cube minus the second term is 3a square b, which is 3 into a is a 3x. So 3a square will be 3 into 3x square into b is a 7 divided by 3. Plus 3ab square, 3 into 3x into 7 by 3 the whole square minus 7 by 3 the whole cube. So this is the expansion of it. The first term is 27x cube. No problem at all there. That's why we arrived at a is equal to 3x. The second term is the 3 into this 3x square can be written as 9x square into 7 divided by 3. So we expanded it. Plus 3 into 3x, we'll write it as a 9x into 7 by 3 the whole square is a 49 divided by 9 minus 343 by 27. No problem with the first and the last terms because that's how we deduce this a and b. The 3 gets cancelled with this 3. The 9 gets cancelled with this 9. So we are left with a 27x cube. 9x square times 7. That's a 63x square. So minus 63x square. x and a 49 will leave us with a 49x minus 343 divided by 27. Is this the same as this expression? Yes, absolutely spot on. So 3x minus 7 by 3, the whole cube, expands as this, which means that this term is the same as 3x minus 7 by 3, the whole cube. 
if this is equal to this entire term is equal to 3x minus 7 by 3 the whole cube it will factorize as essentially 3x minus 7 by 3 times 3x minus 7 by 3 times 3x minus 7 by 3 so this is one approach so said that we found a and b so if it is a minus b the whole cube is it expanding to this is how we are going about it i'll walk you through the second method but before that let's deduce a and b in a printed form in the next slide a minus b the whole cube the expansion is this we are comparing it with this and then we are saying a cube has to be a 27x cube if a cube has to be a 27x cube then a will have to be equal to 3x if b cube will have to be this term is b cube b cube if it is equal to 343 divided by 27 then b is equal to 7 by 3 so a is equal to 3x b is equal to 7 by 3 we know that this expression and this will have to map with each other so trying to rewrite this 27x cube in terms of the way it is going to look like this so we said a is equal to 3x and b is equal to a 7 by 3 let's check out whether this can be written in those terms 27x cube is nothing but 3x the whole cube minus 3a square b so 3 into 3 square into b which is 7 by 3 plus 3ab square this is a this is b square minus b cube this is 3x minus 7 by 3 the whole cube this term expands into this which means that this is the same as 3x minus 7 by 3 the whole cube so it factorizes as 3x minus 7 by 3 into 3x minus 7 by 3 into 3x minus 7 by 3 so this is the way you go about it either you can do it the way i did it in the last slide or you can rewrite it this way both will give you full marks before you leave i want you to do two things one sign up at online.maxtute.com and get started with your cbse class 9 online math tuition it takes three steps and exactly five minutes to get started with your online math tuition second one i want you to subscribe to this channel youtube.com slash more importantly turn on notifications so that you get notified of any postings that we do in terms of new questions or any videos that we upload best wishes for your cbse class 9 math preparation until next time stay healthy stay safe and stay motivated